The word Lioness has always breathed mystery and enchantment. Now, in this brilliant epic novel of high fantasy, one of the world's greatest imaginative writers has created a totally compelling saga of magic, its practitioners, witnesses, and victims. The warlocks, witches, magicians, fairy folk, demons, trolls, and imps of the Elder Isles, from whence the ancestors of King Arthur fled to Britain, are as real as the kings, queens, knights, peasants, and other humans who so vividly populate Jack Vance's pages. To read this spellbinding book is to enter a world and time of eerie beauty, savage strangeness, and bizarre occult adventure. Leoness is, indeed, magic. Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I'm your host, Liam, aka Hembar. Today I'll be doing a spoiler free review of Jack Vance's Soldier's Garden. Children's Garden is a 1983 novel um, by Jack Vance. It is the first in the Leoness trilogy, and sometimes I'll actually generally find the book with the title Leoness, and rarely will you see the title of Children's Garden on the first book. Now, this is a fantasy novel. Um, it is kind of Arthurian, but not really, as it is really pure pre-Arthurian, and uh, the character of Uther, for example, is not even present. Um, it is more along the lines of fairy tale. That's a, basically a fairy tale story. Um, there's actually a little essay at the start that tells you about the land of Leoness um, and the Elder Isles. Um, it also, also has some medieval sources um, from the early Medi Middle Ages to the High Middle Ages. And uh, it's pretty interesting, right? Elder Isles are uh, uh, legendary lost land uh, islands that were in the Bay of Biscay. Um, as we say in English, at least. Um, and uh, it's pretty interesting stuff because it starts off with our main character being, of course, Soldren. Uh, she is born at the start of the story, and we learn about her childhood and her young adulthood. Um, she is not a very social girl, um, though she is a princess, uh, and her parents are rather absent in her life, though. She seems rather lonely and finds solace in a private garden. Um, there are some political machinations uh, going on here, uh, even Christian ones, early uh, Christian ones, um, that Leoness is a part of. Um, I will say, actually, that I think the Christian priest here, he's kind of the typical bad guy. It's kind of laughable, but also admittedly a little lazy. Um, that is one of my complaints about this, um, but at the same time, I don't think it was bad. In fact, I really enjoyed the story. Um, the other bad thing, just to get out of the way, is that there is actually a rape scene. Um, I actually glossed over this, um, but I was reminded of it um, while watching Owen Edwards' uh, book review on, uh, well, Soldier of the Garden. So besides that, we do have a grand use of fairy tale, though, especially with characters' parts uh, like Shimrod, uh, Mal <laughs> Malanthi, uh, Carfilio, uh, Tam Tamriello, uh, I think I'm saying these characters' names right, uh, those parts in particular, I realize I named four characters, but still. Uh, it's rather whimsical, it's sweet, it's dark, and it's sad. And it's often very tragic at times. There's especially one point in the middle of the book where I was like, what? I can't believe that just happened. Um, so much so that I started not to get my hopes up about later events. So it really was also nice and a little surprising when good things did happen. Um, especially leading up to a nice conclusion. Um... I am a big fan of Vance. This definitely has his mark on it. I think Vance is definitely underrated. Um, if you like Arthurian stuff, might as well read this one. I am interested to see where books two and three take us, especially to see how they connect more maybe to Arthurian legend. And if you like, you know, fairy tale, and if you like uh, fantasy, then, you know, Vance, uh, I think, mostly wrote sci-fi. I could be wrong on that, um, but everything I have on my shelf is sci-fi. Though I guess his Dying Earth books are kind of adjacent more like science fantasy um so anyways um let me know if you've read soldier's garden um or any of the leoness books for some reason if you haven't read soldier's garden ones <laughs> or vance if you have read vance then i would recommend this one because i think you if you enjoyed the other vance then you'll probably enjoy this one as well and if you haven't read vance then maybe try this one out um he's definitely um an author who was producing quite amount uh, quite a good amount of good works for several decades but anyways Liam Williams Lyceum uh, I will catch you next time